Good morning. We in the Oblock family are so pleased that you have joined us today so that we can support each other through shared prayer and live as a community of faith and hope. During these days, we are sharing in the annual Lourdes Novena, and it offers us an opportunity to pray and support each other in a special way. My name is Mary, and this morning's prayer is coming from the Sacred Heart Parish, Quakes Road, here in London. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O Almighty God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary did prepare a worthy dwelling place for your Son, we ask you that as we share in the annual Lourdes Novena, we may be blessed with health of body and mind. And O Most Gracious Mother Mary, Mother of our Lord, look with favour upon us as you did that day on Bernadette and intercede with him for us, that the favour we now so earnestly seek may be granted to us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's scripture reading is from St Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 29 to 39. He cast out devils and cured many who were suffering from disease. On leaving the synagogue, he went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand and helped her up. And the fever left her and she began to wait on them. That evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came cra crowding round the door and he cured many who were suffering from diseases of one kind or another. He also cast out many devils, but he would not allow them to speak because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him. And when they found him, they said, everybody is looking for you. He answered, let us go elsewhere to the neighboring country towns so that I can preach there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. In this passage, we learn of Jesus's great compassion for the sick and possessed. He'd had a busy day at the synagogue in Capernaum, preaching and healing the sick. It was the start of his ministry. Yet when he arrived at Peter's mother-in-law's house, and heard that she was ill, he went straight to her, took her hand and helped her up. It's easy to imagine the scene later in the day when the whole town came crowding to the door with the sick and possessed for Jesus to cure them. They had such great belief in his authoritative teaching and his healing of the, of the sick. All of this was being acknowledged, but he avoided, Jesus avoided celebrity status and moved on to the next town. We also learn here, Jesus prioritized prayer. He left the house before sunrise and went to a lonely place alone. We have many references like this in the gospels. It's a great guidance to us to prior, prioritise prayer, to nourish our spirit and to sustain, our, sustain us as we live out a life of faith and hope in our own indi individual pathways.
Novena Prayer. O Mary, you who, who appeared to Bernadette in the hollow of the rock, in the cold and shadow of winter, you brought the warmth of a presence, the friendship of a smile, the light and beauty of grace. In the hollow of our obscure lives, in the hollow of this world where evil is strong, bring hope, give more trust. You who said to Bernadette, I am the Immaculate Conception, come to help, come to help us sinners. Give us the courage of conversion, the humility of penitence, and the perseverance of praying for sinners that we are. We confide to you all whom we carry in our heart, and especially the sick and those who have lost hope, you who are Our Lady of Good Help, you who guided Bernadette to discover the spring, guide us towards him who is the source of eternal life, he who gave us the Holy Spirit, so that we can dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Maybe you join with me in saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Have a great day.